Mask mandates are returning to New South Wales as the government brings in tougher rules to combat the growing number of cases. The number of people in hospital has risen by more than 40 in the past day, while the number of people in intensive care with coronavirus remains fairly steady at 45. Cases have jumped by close to 2,000 in a single day with 5,715 new infections and one death. As a result, masks will be mandatory indoors from midnight. QR codes will be brought back for lower risk settings and remain in place for higher risk locations such as pubs. Work from home is recommended if possible over the holiday period. And density limits of one person per two square metres in indoor hospitality venues will be reintroduced from December 27 for one month. We've always said along the way that we'll tailor our settings uh, on the evidence and the facts that are in front of us. And we think the changes we've made today are modest and proportionate, particularly as we head through the holiday season. And we've put these changes in place until January 27. We think they're fair and balanced. Uh, they're proportionate, ensuring that uh, we are able to keep people safe. Obviously, the biggest concern that's come through over the last 24 to 48 hours uh, has been the impact on our health staff. To have 1,500 health staff uh, either sick or requiring testing through close contact arrangements um, has put that pressure on. Testing centres remain under significant strain due to soaring demand. The government is working to distribute free rapid tests from 2022, but the details of the rollout are still being considered. The Health Minister is urging people not to get a PCR test unless absolutely necessary. If you don't need to go, if you haven't got symptoms or you haven't received a message telling you that you must have a PCR test, probably you don't need to have a PCR test. And certainly, uh, if you're going visiting um, over the next few days, um, please don't go out and just grab a PCR test for the sake of it, because next time when you do need a PCR test, seriously, you may not be able to get it, because if too many people just go out and use our pathology system to that extent. Around 80% of the cases in New South Wales are of the Omicron variant, but the Chief Health Officer is encouraged by overseas data that shows the risk of hospitalisation could be reduced by up to 80% compared with Delta. It's important to remember that more cases across the population can lead, even if a smaller proportion of them lead to hospitalisations, um, you can see higher hospitalisations overall. And that's why we're taking a very cautious approach to monitoring the situation.